Hi everyone, I'm Sandy and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fun, probably short video for you. Uh, it is that time of year again for me. I am getting ready to head out on my annual camping trip. If you're not familiar with this, last year I had a video about this as well. Every year I leave and go camping for 10 days with two of my very, very good friends. We head out to in the middle of nowhere or pretty close to it, far enough out that we have no Wi-Fi, internet, or cell access to go camping, and it is an absolute blast. Uh, I look forward to this every year. I've had reservations at the campsite since February, and we go for a phenomenal 10 days. Unbelievable. I can't, I'm so excited. Uh, by the time this video, this video will go live on Saturday. We will be leaving on Sunday. So yeah, I'm really excited. I look forward to this, like I said, every year. Having a break from all the social media and everything is so needed for my mental health. It helps me reset, recharge, and just come back and really appreciate everything even more. And so I am excited. I just, I love this so much. Um, but with that, it means I won't be online. I won't be on Instagram, Discord, YouTube, I will have zero connectivity at all. And I mean, there's not even an option to. Uh, so, but yeah, it's for 10 days starting on Sunday. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> I wish you could see what my office looks like right now because you can see a tiny bit of it right here. Um, but I have pretty much gear kind of all over the place in my office right now. <laughs> it's, it's a mess. Uh, I'm trying to get everything coordinated and packed and now I'm starting to charge devices uh, because we have no power up there as well. We have an outhouse and potable water when we go. Uh, so everything that we need, we have to bring with us. And so, yeah, I mean, I have little speakers that are waterproof to go on the boats. We take kayaks and paddle boards and the dogs and it is an absolute absolute blast. Yeah. <laughs> and for whatever reason, when I'm up there, I also don't read a ton. I don't know what it is when I'm up there. I just want to go have fun. We're out on the water. We're playing. Even when I'm at camp by myself, I don't tend to pick up a lot of books. However, my friend, one of my friends does. The other one, she said, what did she tell me this week? She said, I will bring my obligatory book, which I probably won't open. <laughs> But my other friend read most of the books I brought last year. So I thought I would share those books with you because some of these I haven't talked about on my channel yet. One I have, one or two I may have. So the other thing is I had hoped to make like four or five videos to schedule and post while I was gone. Yeah, that didn't happen either. Uh, right now, as of when I'm recording this on Wednesday, I'm recording this early, I have this one. <laughs> so we'll see what I'm able to get done before I leave. I don't have a huge amount of time, but so don't be surprised if you don't see a huge amount of content coming up on my channel over the next couple of weeks. Sorry, but it's a much needed break. So what books am I taking with me? I am taking with me Where the Red Fern Grows by Wilson Rawls. Where the Red Fern Grows by Wilson Rawls. This is a readathon, a read along that is hosted by AJ Dunn from AJ Dunn Reads and Writes. It is one of their favorite books. I read this last year at their recommendation and loved it. This feels like the perfect book to read while I'm out uh, in the middle of nowhere. This is the only book that I am taking with the actual intention of reading it myself. I am taking other books, but this is the book, this one. I will have a box of tissues with me. I am going camping with two dogs as well. And so yeah, this one I have a feeling is gonna be a really good, but oh, I'm worried. I'm a little worried, but this is the one I'm taking with a purpose for me to read. But what am I bringing for my friend? And so the first book that I'm bringing is actually Piranesi by Susanna Clark. I have heard several of my booktube friends talk about this book where they loved it. It did win the Booker 
No, Women's Prize. Oh, it won the Women's Prize for Fiction in 2021. I own it and haven't read it. It is one of the stories that I'm not sure if it's really my speed or not, but I'm pretty sure my friend will love this one. It's not super long, so she could be antisocial for a little bit and read this book. So that's the first one. The second one that I am bringing is called The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. So the back of this one says The Rules of Blackheath. Evelyn Hardcastle will be murdered at 11 p.m. There are eight days and eight witnesses for you to inhabit. We will only let you escape once you tell us the name of the killer. Understood? Then let's begin. Ooh, it says Evelyn Hardcastle will die every day until Aiden Bishop can identify her killer and break the cycle. Uh, but every time the day begins again, Aiden wakes up in the body of a different guest, and some of his hosts are more helpful than others. I really do want to read this book. I won't read it while I'm up there, but I do want to read this one. I think it's a great, but it's a, also a bit bigger. Um, it sounds fascinating. I'm really excited to pick this one up at some point. I don't think I've talked about this one on my channel at all, but I am excited about it. Uh, the next, next one is because uh, of where we're going. Um, the is called Legends of the North Cascades by Jonathan Evison. Evison, I'm not sure how you pronounce the last name. We are actually going camping in the Cascades. So yeah, very exciting. This is in my set in my neck of the woods. What's this one about? It says Dave Cartwright used to be a be good at a lot of things, but on the heels of his third tour in Iraq, the fabric of his life has begun to unravel. Gripped by PTSD, he finds himself losing his home, his wife, his direction. Most days, his love for his seven-year-old daughter Bella is the only thing keeping him going. When tragedy strikes, Dave makes a dramatic decision. The two of them will flee their damaged lives, heading off the grid to live in the wilderness of the Pacific Northwest cool as they carve out a home in a cave in that harsh breathtaking landscape echoes of the past begin to reach them bella retreats into herself absorbed by visions of a mother and son who lived in a cave thousands of years earlier oh wow back in town dave and bella themselves are rapidly becoming the stuff of legend to all but those who would force them to return home and as winter sweeps towards the north cascades past and present intertwine with a timeless odyssey cool um yeah this is i we are going camping in the north cascades or in the cascades i don't know if it would be considered the north cascades or not but we are going camping in the cascades so i thought this might be a good one uh whether or not we should be reading a book about you know kind of ghosts living in a cave while we're camping not entirely sure but that's the fourth third book that i'm bringing for my friend and the last one i've talked about before and it is the magicians by lev grossman I think this will be a good one for my friend to read if she wants to read something a little bit different. Uh, and this one just says, Quentin Coldwater is brilliant but miserable. A high school math genius, he's secretly fascinated with a series of children's fantasy novels set in a magical land called Villery. And real life is disappointing by comparison. When Quentin is unexpectedly admitted to an elite secret college of magic, it looks like his wildest dreams may have come true. But his new found powers lead him down a rabbit hole of hedonism and disillusionment and ultimately to the dark secret behind the story of Fillory. The land of his childhood fantasies turns out to be much darker and more dangerous than he ever could have imagined. Yeah, so I think those are good. I think this is a great stack to bring. I think it's a great stack because one, it doesn't take up a huge amount of space. That's the first part. Uh, and then the second part is I think my friend will have some good ones to choose from. And uh, it'll be great for me to look at these and not read them while I'm gone. So uh, yeah, hopefully um, I'm able to, what I would honestly love to be able to do is actually kind of a reading vlog with this one with some camping footage. I don't know. I also don't film a lot when I'm up there. I We just go and enjoy nature, enjoy being out, enjoy being together, and just basically have a really amazing time drinking sangria and swing, singing Sweet Caroline <laughs> and playing games and, you know, just having an absolute blast. So uh, I just thought I would let everyone know this is my official I'm leaving for 10 days announcement. I will be back, uh, but don't be surprised if you don't see much content over the next couple of weeks. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, everyone, thanks. Bye!